Not all crime stoppers alert for you. Thieves targeting car batteries in Dayton. 30 have been stolen from cars in less than six weeks. So here's where it's happening in a one mile stretch along North Main Street between Hillcrest and Delaware Avenues. And while one man has been arrested, Alexa Ashwell working for you to tell you what's behind the spike and how you can protect yourself. The biggest thing is to record your battery's serial number. Every car has one. It can be found right here on your battery. You need to register this number with your manufacturer and vendor. This will help police track down a thief should your battery be stolen. Because the garage shouldn't be open at all, and it was open on that side, and we had a few uh, thefts in, in the past few days, so we was on high alert. Polo Dewberry caught the man police believe may be responsible for a rash of car battery thefts in West Dayton. I held him down. Dewberry found 40 year old Michael Fox inside his garage on North Main Street attempting to steal his battery. The suspect had tools uh, in his possession at the time of arrest uh, that, you know, and those tools are specifically to uh, install and uh, replace car batteries. Dayton Police Lieutenant Wendy Stiver says these will resell your battery or scrap it for metal to make at most $30, much less than what it will cost you to replace it. So here's what you can do. Always make sure your doors are locked. A quick pop of the hood and your battery is easy access. <laughs> Having a car alarm will also deter thieves as well as light. If you park your car in a garage, make sure your garage is secured, it's well lit, uh, use motion sensor lights. Uh, if you park your car on the street or in a driveway, there's a couple of other options you can use, including motion sensor lights. Now, if you buy a new battery, make sure you ask the business how you need to register it. Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.